Welcome back to another BMX episode. Today, we are taking a look at one of the newest additions to Colorado's public dirt jump parks. This was filmed about two weeks after opening day. It's located north of Denver between Longmont and Fort Collins in a small town of Berthoud. There is no big goal today besides the whale tail. But we will get to that later on. We're just checking this place out to see what it has to offer. Let's ride on in and warm up at the pump track in three, two, one. Here I'm just cruising through warming up and trying to figure out the flow of the track. This pump track is pretty big and seems like with more time and reps through it, it will have quite a few options for transfers and discovering new lines. With this being the new park of the area, it was packed today. So I just kept to the flow of traffic to feel the place out. But overall, it's a great start. Pump tracks can be a fantastic place to learn a lot of basic right. skills on your bike, scooter, or skateboard. It's also a pretty solid workout. A few key skills you can work on here would be pumping, carving, possibly learning hips, depending on how the lines are, and even jumping. Let's jump on in to a few laps of this section of the park. Now that we're warmed up and good to go, it is time to move up to the beginner dirt jump lines. This section includes two smaller parallel dirt jump lines having four smaller tableish step ups, ending in a big wood berm or kinda like a beginner wall ride. These jumps are perfect to learn on, with them being very similar to each and growing a little bit in size as you go down the line. It's nice that the takeoffs are all made exactly the same out of wood, so there is a lot of consistency here, which is perfect for as you're starting out to learn how to do jumps. This consistency can be important and help you learn the basic skills faster. So far, this park is a straight starting point for anyone just getting into this type of sport. Adjacent to this area of the park is a very long skills course you can try out as well. If you're getting into mountain biking, this course would be great for you if you want to try out some more technical riding skills. Alrighty, let's take a couple hits on the small beginner lines before moving on to the medium, racer, and advanced jumps of the park. Oh, and the whale tail. Small one. We only did these a couple times to get a taste of airtime on the smaller jumps. It had me itching to move on up to their medium line and keep progressing. It's time to continue the journey over to the large lines of the park. Let's jump on in to the medium line. All right, let's hit this line. Already short. There we go. Well, that first one didn't go so well. All right, let's give this another go. There we go, get a little better. Oh, that 
It's goofy. What the heck? Oh, that's weird. Hold on. Just a side note. It probably would have been a good idea just to do a walk through this line first instead of just attacking it. Now that was a bit better. Let's give this a quick Holy pause and rewind the line. So I'm having some trouble here starting off because each lip and each jump kind of has a little bit different feel. It's not super consistent. The first couple jumps here are small tables that you have to push the bike through the jump and are very similar to the beginner lines we had just done earlier. The next jump is the complete opposite. It is more of a kicker that throws you straight up. The following two jumps are more hip-like with one teaching you to go right and the next one going left. These are probably my favorite jumps in a line because you can take them more or less straight on, but it gives you room to grow and learn how to hip. The next two features are left and right wall ride, which are complete speed killers. I'm not too crazy about having these back to back with how this overall line is. Completely eats your speed for the next jump, which is similar to the first kicker earlier on in the line. Now with this section, you'd almost want maybe a roll or two in here instead of having to pedal. Directly after this is this kind of dirt table that you can either bleed speed or gain speed on, taking you downhill underneath the barn jump and over another large roll to your final jump but this is almost too small for the speed you're set up with so you will most likely need to anti-pump on a previous large roller or anti-pump on this jump ending in a couple more wall rides that are more advanced overall it's an odd line that does try to have progression in it but you will need to ride a few times to memorize it so you know how to set yourself up for the next jump it does include a lot for somebody trying to learn intermediate skills but it's a brand new park so i'm sure the kinks just will be worked out these places just need a little bit of work to fine tune them and i'm sure after a year or two this place this will be awesome. Let's jump into one of the better runs and move on to the advance line. Here we go. It's time to move on to the biggest line of the park. And it's go time to struggle. Overall, this line looks really cool, especially the ending having a choice to either hit larger step ups or the shed jump. The second feature of this line was my problem of the day, the whale tail. This is a feature I've never ridden before and it was at an angle which has made it even scarier and made me generally overthink the entire jump. And as you will see here, create a mental block and well, yeah, you'll see, you'll see. Let's get into it. I cased the first. Yeah. yeah. Ah, and then I chicken out on it. Come on. As you can see, it just was not clicking today. Try after try, just getting nowhere. So it was time to take a mental break and take a quick lap on the medium line. I didn't think I had the speed.
All three of us wanted to take on the next attempt to hopefully help me tail into the jump. Little did I know, this was going to be the last attempt of the day. Unfortunately, the rider in front of me had wrecked on the next jump, and it happened right as I was turning the camera off. Basically, one of the riders I was with had to pedal between the jumps, which you almost need to do on the large line here in general, due to the jumps being very spaced out, and the ground wasn't super hard packed yet, which is something you don't want to do or should need to do because it can be dangerous with either losing your footing, throwing off your body position, and a few other kind of major reasons. In this case, it threw him into a weird body position. So when he had hit the lip of the jump, he lost a ton of speed because he essentially anti-pumped into it so he had to ditch the bike and unfortunately landed wrong and broke his wrist our day was over as you can see I'm taking the dirt pump track back to the car I'm excited to come back and conquer the hopefully it happens thanks for watching see you on the next adventure very soon